Hello everyone, welcome to Risu's Squirrel Zone, <laughs> episode 2, brought to you by The Bakery and produced by 14. On today's episode, we're going to be covering the thought of imagination. Now, I personally feel like I have an amazingly large imagination, from mundane tasks to um, playing video games, anything I do is using my imagination on. Um, like for example, the other day I was playing Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. Amazing game. And then, as I'm driving around doing the races already set out by the game, I'm already making up my own side objectives in my head or making up my own scenarios within the story. But it also does help to note that it is a game with um Minimal cutscenes, minimal voice acting, and not much story direction other than a basic goal they give you and you kind of fill in the rest. And I suppose that's where the game um, is so cool to me because um, it's like, almost like d d in a sense. Because with the limited knowledge I have of d d But, um, you know, you're playing the game and you're making up your own goals as you go through. But the game already gives you the own, your own skeleton, like it gives you the base of what it is, and it's your job to figure out the rest. And I find that so cool, because it, I could be doing anything. I could be part of an elite underground street racing group. I could be a professional race car driver on clear tracks. I could be doing, I could be <laughs> cruising in my car down the street, taking my children to school or something. Like, it's just... With imagination, I feel like there is no way to be bored, and I rarely find myself bored. As a kid, um, having fun and playing with other children who um, also had very active imaginations was always just like an amazing way to pass time. Because if you think about it, there was nothing we could we couldn't we never ran out of ideas. There was never a time where I said, "Okay, I'm bored." I mean. We would pick up sticks and pretend they were swords. Or we would watch the wind blow and, and act like we were making it blow and we had superpowers. Or pick up a dirt brick and crush it and pretend we had super strength. Or roll down a hill or ride a bike down the hill. Or somebody rode a bike down the hill and we would try to spear their tires so they would flip. Well, that's well, We would hold martial arts tournaments acting like it was like the world final. Like we did a lot. We did a lot.
hottest DJ mixing the beats. Be- beats, 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 beats. Mixing, 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 mixing the beats. I guess indulging in my imagination so much as a child is what it's carried it to my um present. But it's pretty interesting because um I feel like that's one of the reasons I do so many different things because all music is is imagination, all video editing is like you have to have some sort of imagination to be able to edit a video in a certain way. You have to <laughs> have the creative vision to be able to put that into a video. You're goddamn right. Um writing poems, writing anything, drawing, all of these I, I make jewelry, like it's People say, oh, you do a lot of things, but you have to really pay attention. I do a lot of creative things, and I have to have a strong imagination to be able to do those things. Because without imagination, you're, uh, I don't know, life is, life looks like it would be boring. And, um, I met a lot of people who said they didn't have an imagination, or, um, you know, didn't have a super large imagination. Like, um, the last girl I dated said oh she didn't have an imagination anymore like she lost it and that was always so peculiar to me because like it wasn't hard for her to think and hard for her to like she wasn't stupid or anything but it was just hard for her to find wonder and like simple things she was more influenced by what people around her were doing and not just social media but i mean socially in general she found more interest from other people than you know herself and i mean that's okay because a lot of the time we find the things we like from social media or things we see somebody doing because if not then how would we know it exists 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 meet my new pal music This show is brought to you by The Bakery, always staying fresh. Sponsored by P.O.O. Stain Productions and produced by 14 RSS. This episode is sponsored by President Poachers, the all new simulator designed with accuracy in mind. President Poachers is where a scientifically accurate bullet physics engine meets a lore accurate assortment of targets. Try the free seven day trial at pp.move slash squirrel show. Now, we will return to the show hosted by Rizzy. Boys, 
blazing the steel. Bring the heat. Mix it non-stop. 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 With the With hottest, the hottest DJ. DJ. But that's not really the point I'm trying to get at, Mike. For me, it's easy to come up with creative, cute date ideas or creative, cute little things to do. But with her, she had to take direct inspiration from something. And I'm not saying that that's worse than my method, but it's always confusing to me how people can say or can be out of tune with their imagination. And that leads me to the question of how do you grow your imagination? I wouldn't know. I can't answer the question, but it's a cool question to ask. Like, is it possible if you quote unquote lose your imagination to find it again? Because I feel like if more people use their imagination, a lot of people would be 10 times more happy because it helps you find hobbies and it helps you see things in a different way or a different light. Staying positive is a big part of having a big imagination, you know? It's just like, <laughs> if you have a big imagination, you not, you can't, it's not so much as deluding yourself from the truth, but it's more of a thinking about things in a different way because I could totally be like, Oh yeah, I'm not poor and I have a lot of money, but I could also be like, well, I have more money than I think I do. It's just coming later, so blah, blah. You know, you can just take a fun little spin on things. Now, part of that may be delusion, but I mean, they say fake it till you make it. This has been Risu Squirrel Zone Episode 2, brought to you by The Bakery, produced by 14.